right, howdy peeps and peoples. I got a, uh, some footage. I'm trying to get off the pewter. I never made a video of this before. Or, I never made a video out of this old material. It was from back in, I think, at the end of March, early May, April. Derek's truck is 379P, runs a uh, C15 uh, 6NZ cat motor. Uh, I forgot what happened. It was a uh, head gasket. No, it was a cracked. I can't remember. We sent it off. We got so much going on, we sent it off. But anyways, it acts like a... Derek's on the side of the road right now. Um, him and Dan was taking lumber down south, and uh, all of a sudden it started uh, getting hot on him. And he pulled over, and uh, steam's coming out of the dipstick tube. And Derek's like, oh boy, here we go. So... Larry uh, didn't come in this day or whatever. We're rained out in the woods, and me and Roger is going to jump in Larry's truck. This video ain't put together real well, but it's comical, and it's funny, and it's fun. So I want to go ahead and play it. But me and Roger's going to take Larry's truck. It's a W900, a straight W900 Kenworth. It's got the aluminum cab, not the fiberglass top. Where they, I hate them K Whoppers with the extended cab, fiberglass top, and all that crap. Uh, I like the looks of them, don't get me wrong, but I hate owning one because <laughs> we did in the past and it was a mess. But uh, so we're going to take Larry's truck out to get Derek's truck, get swap trailers on the side of the road, fill Derek's up with antifreeze, and me and Roger's going to limp it back to the shop because we're going to have to take it in and we're going to have to send it to Sternberg's to get it rebuilt, which is going to cost a chunk of change with all the prices of everything right now. So, uh, I hope y'all enjoy this. Let's go. I'll drop this thing down here on the concrete. I've dealt with so many things already this morning. My brain. I don't have much of a brain and what I got, it's, ah, it's scrambled. Uh, Wary, do you have any fuel? I probably, he's probably got enough fuel to get there and back. And I've only drove this truck once and we was looking to buy it at that time. I ain't drove it since we bought this truck. What a day. It's got a good dash in it. I like all this stuff. K Whopper's got pretty good interior. I'll have to give it that. And this is not the, the W900L. This is the uh, the B model cab. It's got the better cab. All right, where's air suspension on this little trinket son of a butt? Air suspension, we're dropping and flopping. All right, come out. Come on out here. Oh. Hey, dummy, you got to release the fifth wheel. There, good buddy. It's been, you can tell Blackie's been going for a while. I'm getting out of practice. All right, we'll try this again. We got him. We got him. Oh, oh Roger had to help me. He's a good man. Oh, we're in neutral. Didn't you say Chris is going to have to teach me how to drive this thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I dumped your leg when we blew it up. I think you must go back and I carry you. Yeah, I don't know a thing. I didn't get out of the your truck. Yeah, we checked. We got a, we got enough. We should be fine. Okay, I'm calling you. All right, we're headed that way. Roger said he's following me. Whatever, Roger. We got this. We got a long way to go and a short while to get there. We're gonna be eastbound and Robin's getting out ahead of us. We got a chip pile in the way. Gonna have to put her in reverb. Oh yeah, we got her now. Gosh, it feels good to be back in a truck. Wish it was my bird though, instead of Larry's old wobble wagon. Larry. He runs his mouth about my truck all the time. Whatever. Larry, I could blow. I ain't even got a motor cab in my truck and I'll blow this one off the road. You know it? Let me get my stuff out of it. Let me get my stuff out of the gray truck here. Or out of Patty. Chaos this morning. Here comes Big Daddy. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can put this phone down here. Let's see if we can get going on the wary wagon. Wary! Oh, 
Mercy Jesus. We stop 18 speed. It's got the right stuff in it. 6NZ with an 18 speed. Oh, that's the lights. It ain't the jack. Where's Jake back on that thing? The heated mirror. I'm flipped. Well, I'm flipped on the heated mirror and that don't work. Leave it to Kenworth. Put all the stuff in the wrong spot. Should have bought an international. Should have bought Tiger Cat. Oh, it's got the juice, so boy, where are you? My lord. Listen at her. There, found a Jake Brady. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, where are you? Woo. Yeah, it goes. Ain't no wonder where he likes this truck so much. I don't know if Blackie can take this thing or not. This thing's got some juice in it. This thing's over 500 horse now. Shut this off before I get in trouble. <laughs> All right, let's let there go now. You red eye? trailer sets kind of high so hopefully we can do this all right tug test
lip off you, Larry, I'll shave it off of Chris's butt cheek. <laughs> Prioritize, Roger. It's a little thirsty. You mother trucker. This is a terrible setup. This freaking hose thing is. And why would they not make it flexible? Don't get that. That's retarded. a little loose there. Run that little loosey-goosey. Let some of that pressure off. Got a little bit of a key issue too. Huh. I don't know about any of the rest of these son of a bucks, I'll tell you. Well I'll just go with them. Across four lanes of traffic in 10 feet. All right, you ready, Roger? <laughs> Yeah, I was in my lower 20s, and uh, boy, 
I, I used to, this truck was a show truck at one time, boy, I tell you. Rubbed and rubbed and waxed and washed. Oh, man, it was. We are just getting started in the mulch business. And uh, I was like, I'm going to hold a presentation in this mulch business like none other. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know if it helped any or not, but it, it sure wore me out washing this thing. <laughs> But now this truck's an older truck, and it's still a good truck. That's why you buy trucks that are spec right. Because they last forever. And if they don't last forever, I don't feel like you get your money back. I guess if you... Some people say they trade, 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 trade. You know, some people that works for, I just... I don't look at it that way. I'd rather get a hold of the truck when the money's already knocked down on it a good ways and then drive it. You know, that's how I like to do it. But to each their own. This this truck needs painted. It needs some work. Derek's it's a good truck, but it needs a little work on the on the aesthetics. But as far as the functionality of it, this is a great truck. And Larry's truck's a great truck. I'm glad to see him having nice trucks. I want I want to have nice trucks in this company, but, oh man, 